Sergio Martin, who revived Fiat and Chrysler, dies at 66 inches. Sergio Martin in 2015 at the Chrysler Tech Center in Auburn Hills, Michigan. He took over Fiat in 2004 and spearheaded the acquisition of Chrysler in 2009, becoming one of the most closely watched chief executives in the automaking industry. Credit Laura McDermott for the New York Times. Sergio Martin, the executive who pulled two ailing carmakers from the brink of collapse and led the improbable transformation of Fiat Chrysler into an automotive giant, died on Wednesday. John Alkin, the chairman and chief executive of Exor, the holding company controlled by the Agnelli family, which founded Fiat in 1899, announced the death in a statement. It did not say where Mr. Martian died. He had been incapacitated about three weeks ago by sudden complications of shoulder surgery, which he had undergone in Zurich, leading Fiat Chrysler to announce that he would be unable to return to work. It hastily appointed a successor this past weekend. The Italian news media said he died in a Zurich hospital, where he had been on life support. Unfortunately, what we feared has come to pass, Mr. Elkin said on Wednesday. Sergio Martian, man and friend, is gone. Mr. Martian took over Fiat, in Turin, Italy, in 2004 and spearheaded the acquisition of Chrysler in 2009. On both occasions the businesses were near low ebbs, and few gave him any chance of success. But he defied those gloomy predictions. Today, Fiat Chrysler Automobiles and Ferrari, which was spun off during Mr. Martian's tenure, are worth nearly ten times as much as they were when he took over. An Italian-born Canadian, Mr. Martian had a reputation as a chain-smoking workaholic, one who forged his career as a tax consultant before moving on to a metals trading firm and a trade services company. His legacy was defined, however, by his work in the automotive industry. When he was hired by the Agnelli family to run the company, it was faltering and they charged him with reversing its long decline. Acting quickly, he dismissed several executives, pared back production levels to meet demand and eliminated some slow-selling models. Before long, Mr. Martian became closely watched as one of the fastest-moving chief executives in the auto industry.